so you go into your start and then you select your stm32 cube ide then you uh, click on browse and then you create a new folder folder uh, and name it DSP FFT okay I will just going to and, and then you select this folder okay select this folder and click on launch then you click on start a new STM32 project then you need to select your part number so which is 476VG ok so this is your part number then you can click on next and uh, then you can give your pro project a name here so we will call it FFT ok so FFT and FFT and we will click on finish okay. it will ask you for device configuration tool editor so click on yes so this is your part microcontroller now you zoom into it and then you go into system core and RCC and then you go into sys and click on debug and click on serial wire debug 
okay so these two pins will be active or selected PA13 and PA14 okay so right now we only need these two pins for our debug session and then uh, then you can click on here build project or you can go into project and then build all do you want to generate code yes So now that we have our project open, uh, uh, we can now we want to add DSP functionality into it. So what you need to do is go to your Go to your repository, STM32 cube repository. select this repository so you need so you will find your repository at this address so you will find your repository at this address then you open your repository select your package and then go into your middlewares oh sorry go to your drivers cmsis folder and then you have your dsp folder so right so keep it aside and then we need to open another we need to uh, open our uh, file open new window here what you need to do is go to your workspace so we have stm and uh, go to your workspace here 50 50 and then you go into your drivers and then you go into your cmsis here you will be creating a new folder okay and name it as dsp okay so in this dsp folder open this so from this dsp folder which is in your repository you need to you need to copy this include folder okay you need to copy this include folder and paste it uh, here so 
okay and then we go up and again go into our DSP repository and copy this library library and paste that library or in this CMSI folder okay remember that we are including library outside of DSP folder okay then you go into your stm32 cube IDE and then you go into your project and then you need to select your properties oh, before doing that uh, just refresh your right click or just go here and refresh the project and uh, if you select your CMSIS you will now see a DSP folder and a library folder now you go to your project click on project properties and uh, just make it a little bigger and then go to your C++ build ok then to your settings and then go to preprocessor include paths ok include paths and then click on this add button and then you click on this workspace button and then you select your where you select the location where your include folder is so tsp include ok so ok it then click on ok and then then click on apply uh -huh. and then you are going to your linker here libraries and then you click on this libraries and then you write arm underscore cortex m4 f m4 l f underscore math then you click on ok and then in the library search path you need to click on and then in library search path you click on here and then you click on workspace and then you go back to your driver folder sims folder and then you select your library folder and select this gcc folder over here click on ok and then click on ok so after you have done that uh, you can
go to your to preprocessors then you go into here preprocessors and then in your define symbols you click on add and now you delete this and write in caps arm underscore math underscore cm4 and then you click on ok and then you click on apply and close now in your folder in your main in your editor you need to include under private uh, includes you need to include arm math okay so so let's just first let's we'll just build this project okay so there are no warnings so now we include or math 